shit! Fuck! Okay guys, this is Scott Jackson 117 here, and I'm here to give you a video on how to make a good music video. Many of you have been asking how to make a video, and here it is. Okay, now, I'm gonna go through what I do in my music videos. Before I do, in this video I will be mentioning things that will correct any mistakes that I've made in my past videos. But first, before we begin, I'm sure that if you haven't heard my voice, you're probably thinking, Is this what he sounds like? What a fucking douchebag! And if you haven't seen my face, here it is. Hey guys, what's up? And I know you're thinking, Is this what he looks like? What a fucking douchebag! Anyway, now that we got that sorted out of the way, let's get started. Firstly, let me just say that anyone can make a music video and it can be easy. And by easy, I don't mean slapping together one song with one trailer. It's just wrong, okay? Uh, to make a music video entertaining, it takes time and planning. Firstly, what I do is I think about what I want to have in a music video or what it's going to be about. My choice would be games. So I choose for my next video. Do I want it to be about one game, or should I throw in a ton of other games? Once I have decided that, I find the content that I want. I can make do with trailers, but if I wanted to do more than one game, then I need more content, so I record from the game using cinematics. For recording games, I would advise using only cinematics, but you can use some in-game footage, maybe. If you don't know how to record or have any difficulty, there is a link to Digital Fees video on how to make machinima and it covers on how to record. Uh, that video also helps in editing machinima if you're interested as well. Once I have my content, I choose what song I want with that particular game. Action games will work well with songs that have great beats. Disturbed, Breaking Benjamin, Thousand Foot Crutch are some examples. In my opinion, a music video is about pumping someone into a game. You can have a music video that conveys the death of a character or emotions between two characters, but with those kinds of things, you'll need to use slow songs. And that's fine as well, but for the love of God, don't put a weak love song with an action game. It ends up being just gay. Hey, Scott, um, can you use Justin Bieber's song in one of your videos, please? Z -Z -Z? Uh, hmm. Buy my songs on iTunes. Don't be all, I can't be bothered bullshit. Just get out there and buy the songs that you want. Mainly because you won't get viruses from downloading them from Pilot or LimeWire or stuff like that. Now once I've chosen my song and content, I edit it all together. I use Windows Movie Maker and I am full of aware that it is very basic. But the basic programs are the ones that are the easiest to use and are more user friendly. The downside of it is that it limits me to little things like transitions and effects, but I honestly couldn't care less. You don't need the most expensive piece of software slash hardware to create something entertaining. Many people believe that if they do get the pricey software, they're going to automatically create something awesome and everybody's going to love it. YES! I HAVE THE SPARTAN LASER! THE MOST POWERFUL WEAPON IN HALO! And now, I can WIN! If you have good editing skills, it doesn't matter what editing software you use. Firstly, load all the content that you're going to need onto the ready box, as I will. When I start a music video, I want to hook my audience in with a great intro. Depending on what song I used, it will either have an immediate intro... You know the music, time to dance. Or it'll have a bit of a wait until it gets an intro. Either way, it hooks your audience in and it's a good thing to have an explosion or something within that nature to sink in with the intro. Once I get the ball rolling, this is where the editing pays off. The body. Now what I've seen in many videos is that there is very little or no effort put in at all. 
all they've done is slapped a trailer together and a song and they call it a music video. This is wrong. If you put no effort in editing, there's going to be no effort in watching it. And if it makes it too boring and predictable, they're just not even going to bother. It's best to have scenes that match the lyrics when they pop up. And bits that match the beat of the song, usually in the intro or breaks in the song. Don't place a new scene on every drum beat throughout the song, it ends up placing someone in an epileptic fit, like one of my videos. You freelance. However, some songs there's an exception, uh, if you heard of Pendulum, Pendulum's pretty good if you wanted to make one. I could make one, but I'm more into the little lyrical sort of stuff. Place a different scene from a different game. This way, it keeps your audience hooked in as new visuals come into play. Also, don't try to group games in one specific part of the song. Mix it up. And when thinking about the song, don't use all the good parts of the game in one segment of the song. Plan and space out, otherwise it's going to be boring as well. Once I'm near the end, I think about the exit. Just like the entry, hooking them in and throwing them out. Once I've finished it, I recheck that there aren't any mistakes made, then I add credits. I display details about who created it, what games I put in it, what song I used, and the sources I've got my content from. I also add a disclaimer claiming what I created was done so under fair use. For those who don't know, many videos get pulled off because they had song that they used without permission. You can get your video back by disputing it. I will place a link on that as well. Uh, even if you say it's under fair use, it's still going to be pulled down. Every single one of my videos gets claimed by WMG or some other music group. And every time, I have to claim it under fair use. I don't know, claiming a video under fair use is saying that you created a video without the intention to make a single cent of it. And I don't make any money off my videos, sadly, but... Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm happy doing my videos for free. I'm happy entertaining you guys. Doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, once I think that my videos are finished, I publish it. When I'm publishing, there's an option that has Xbox 360 somewhere in it. This gives you the option to actually play your videos in HD. So choose this option. I watch it in Windows Media Player. Then I upload it onto YouTube. Usually when upload is finished, it is immediately claimed and blocked, so I'll have to dispute it. But once that's cleared up, it's there to be enjoyed. Now, once it's up there, there are some things you should look out for. 1. Critics. There may be some people who might think they can do a better job at music videos than you can, and some leave criticism. This is okay. Constructive criticism is a good thing mainly because it will help you fine tune your videos so you're better off in the long run. Don't reject it, learn from it. 2. Douchebags. They're everywhere on the internet so be careful if some idiot decides to hate your video because you used a specific game or song. Here's an example, if I create a music video about Halo, which is what I do, and someone com comments saying, Halo sucks, this vid sucks together. Ignore it. Because I would have made that video to entertain those who like Halo. If you have a target audience, then anyone who likes what you like will probably like the video itself. Anyone outside that target audience might come across your video and immediately dismiss it because they didn't like the game that they used. But if you have impressed people who are outside the target audience, then you have done a great job. Number three, arguments. Some content can make one narrow-minded shithead want to say something supposedly logical about something that the person thinks your vid has created. Let me say this, music videos aren't political. They're there to entertain. And if someone posts a comment that's gonna start an argument, remove it 
and state the reason why. I'm sick of someone else's opinion starting a shit fight because someone believes differently. Why the fuck would you use Killzone 2? That game's full of PS3, PS3 sucks! Why don't you just shut the fuck up and play your Blu-ray bullshit, you little fag? But no, you suck, you just shut up! Just get lost, you little kid, and fuck you! You, know, you can get hacked and all that stuff, that Nintendo Wii! <laughs> don't even go in this fucking Oh, kid. fuck <laughs> off, you little shit! Shut up! Mom! This kid's abusing me! And four. Spammers. They're everywhere. Chances are you'll get a lame comment by some basement running troll who wants to create limitless accounts and spam people. Don't even try responding to them. Just delete and block them. I can't believe I got it for free at gamesforfree.com. Replace W with full dot. Oh man, I have got, well, hey, got Anthony, such a Hey Anthony, I want to go over these right? test results at school. Apparently you're failing. Oh my god! Dad, no, what don't come doing? in! Blah. This this is worse than terrorism! No, Dad, it's not what it looks like! Blah. Oh my god! My own son! Spamming! Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? I brought you into this world. Now I'm gonna have to take you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't he have looked up poor like all the normal boys at school? Now, this is troubleshooting. When choosing a song, sometimes it won't let you put it on. I overcome this by using wa uh, WavePad or Pinnacle or another audio editing software that lets you use that song. Save it as a different format or save it as a Windows Media format. And once that's done, you should be able to use it on Windows Movie Maker. Some songs actually have a block that won't let you use a song. So use some other audio editing software, so that way you can use it on Windows Media Play or something like that. Another problem is crashing. If you place too many scenes and content, and you've been playing around with Windows Movie Maker for several hours, the program will get slow, mainly because of memory or something like that. And on occasion, it will crash the program and I'll lose what progress I made. Keep saving as much as you can. I use Windows Vista, so I suppose that's the main reason of it crashing too often. But it doesn't stop me. But it does start to respond slowly. Save it, close the program, and reopen it again. The last problem I have is when publishing. I received a message saying it couldn't find the folder path and wasn't able to publish. Let's say I have a trailer folder where all my content is. Now if there's a Modern Warfare 2 trailer there that I've used in my video and I move it to another location, Windows Movie Maker will not be able to find it anymore and the parts that of my video that use that trailer won't show. So it's sort of like a, a dumb program. So make sure you don't remove any files or folders until the video is completely finished. Uh, that's basically it guys. If there's anything that I missed out or you have any concerns, please message me and I'll either respond by sending you a message or I'll create another video. I uh, hope that this has been an insightful video. I hope that it helps you in your endeavors to create music videos and if you make any, uh, if you want, I can provide feedback if you want to. Thanks guys, peace out.